All right, so this is how you set up and defend Clubhouse in 2023, year seven, season four. So one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of people do is that they go CCTV first. Now, CCTV is like a very somewhat easy bomb site, but everybody knows how to attack it. I would highly advise that you guys go basement or gym first as they are a lot better in the meta right now. But CCTV, like you get the wall open, everyone starts dropping bodies and it's hard to retake, especially if you solo queue. The next thing you know, they have garage or some guys in con and like, you know, you try to save your teammate and then boom, thermo, you know, it's, it's winnable, but it's, it's just how harder, it's harder than gym in church. So I'll say what order we should go in first. Let's go to, let's go to church, church, um, I, you really just, I think you guys should always roam a little bit on this one to have some presence. So pick anybody with a 1.5 and someone want to go get the hatches. That's basically it. Um, Cade's kind of good, but I recommend that you guys try to either impact trick if there is no Habana. Uh, otherwise, um, you know, traps, traps and roam is really the only thing about church. It's not really utility heavy anymore as much. So Traps are good, like Malusi, Legion, Capkin's really good, Rook, Doc, you know, like, like, listen, you can go anybody you want, except for Clash. So, I will show you guys a little bit of, uh, how, let me go smoke, actually, then I can just kind of, like, set up everything. So, chat, you guys might be a fan of, uh, anchoring, or you might be a more of a roamer. I'll show you guys a bit, so. These rotates are, like, mandatory on every single time you go down here. They're just mandatory. Let's go and reinforce this wall. Do not reinforce this wall all the way. If you do that, then you give them full of control of blue and you're trolling. Uh, this middle one is good just for like some extra, you know, cover. Um, head holes or foot holes are totally up to you. They're totally personal preference of how you want to play it. Um... You can make holes like this if you are holding main pretty extensively, but these can work against you if you do them wrong. So let's just say, let's just close them off, but that's just the option. I think the number one problem a lot of people don't do is reinforce. They don't ever really reinforce these walls and it, and it's just, it creates a weak, weak setup. Now we're going to make this a vault. We're not going to, we're going to make it a vault like this. And then it's optional to make this one right here if you want to go into armory, but it's optional. Um, you can make foot holes or head holes. Don't make both of them, but like, you know, one or the other, choose one. It's okay. Uh, if you want to impact trick, this is how you impact trick. You would do this and throw the impact right here and you get all the aces and thermites off. Against a bad team, it's very, very effective. And obviously, like, go get dirt, but I'm not going to do that. It's a waste of time. Um, if you have an extra shield, put it in dirt like this. Uh, make sure it's elevated because you can get your head chipped off like this. So, but this is a good uh, way to hold dirt. Um, another shield spot you can do is uh, on K9 like this. Or AKs. Or the, you know, you could... A very default one is like this, but it's totally up to you. It doesn't matter too much. Um, five reinforcements. So, obviously, I'm going to do it just for time. Get hatch one. Get stock hatch and get moto hatch for some reason in low ranks people are just allergic to getting hatches they would rather go chase a drone for like 30 seconds don't do that um so this is where traps come in traps are very very important because it's a very large bomb site so imagine it's like a 3v3 minute left and you hear nobody you know you would have to watch main you would have to watch dirt secret maybe if certain hatch is open um, so having barbed wire or any kind of util, uh, helping you eliminate those angles and you'll feel a lot less pressured in sight. So like a Malusi Banshee would be really good or a Legion Mine on this staircase or deeper here. Maybe even in dirt. Make sure the Banshee is not here because by the time it's already here, they can already see everything. So put the Banshee deeper. Barbed wire or Banshee on hatch. You know, pretty, pretty simple. It's, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, okay, so like, uh, but this is basically the, the, the normal site setup of how you set up Clubhouse. Um, I'm not going to get too in deep of how you should play the map because I think it's really down to the player of how you get creative. You know, my way is not the highway. You know, 
it's not a one shoe fits all but what i will say try to delay them getting the hatch as long as possible and if you're roaming you should you know utilize the third floor utilize strip you know stay alive as long as you can if not then try to bring one down with you before you die um but yeah just find ways to create pressure don't sacrifice yourself way too early and yeah i mean if, if once you kind of like you know done your job with the realm just come back to site that's pretty pretty simple solus and mozzie are really good uh, if you don't if you if you have valkyrie yep c4s are pretty good for kitchen and all that pull a hole uh so you can hold top boosters above blue rotate yeah you can if you want i think it's uh very situational angle but yeah that, that's up to you if you want to the time limit has been reached. you have troubles attacking is there any tips for that um well there's if you're solo queue i recommend you trust your drones more than your teammates and just try to just find picks bro just just you're the only person you can trust to get kills so you know play a more aggressive on solo queue um but obviously, if you play passive, you don't have any information. But if you're if you're in a five stack, you guys should be droning for each other and opening up the right walls, and then you can just chain refrag from there. Uh, next one after you win basement, we should go gym. Like I said, don't go CC again because CC is just it's just it's too default of a site anymore. It's 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 usable. But like, you know, you have a better chance of winning the other ones better. So let's go ahead and go Frost. Um, Alright, so... Oh, oh, I didn't say the operators to go, um, but... Operators, you should go. You should always bring someone for rotates. Um, wall denial is pretty... Ma it's somewhat mandatory. Yes. Wall denial. Rotates. Um... Jaeger or Walmai is pretty good because there's a lot of nade spots here and flashbang stuff like that. And next one could be probably just anyone else to help more with rotates, you know, like a bailiff, like Doc. Uh, the last two operas, you can actually just go like, you know, just go frag ops. Just bring someone with a good gun. You know, I think Doc's really good right now because he has the bailiff and he has a 1.5 heals. Thunderbird's good. Just pick anybody you want and just make sure you utilize your utility to help out with the bomb site. Legion's good. Castle's good. Castle's not mandatory because they get broken anyways, and I mean they don't really, they don't really do much. I mean it really depends on unless you're trying to ban a trick, but for the most part, if they're still outside the building, then you know it's not that big of a deal. Castle's good, but if you want to, uh, he's a good pick though, but he's not mandatory. How do you know who's a 1.5? You just have to play the game and you'll, you'll understand. There's not very many of them, but you'll understand. So let's just make the rotates. Um, I personally wouldn't want to make this a running rotate because if it's a, a vaultable one or a crouched one, then it it's um it slows them down basically. What I like to do sometimes is put a frost right here and reinforce this side so you don't get wall banged from the construction window. Mira is good on this side, yes. Chat, you could even go like Oryx if you want to. Oryx is fine. Because uh, mainly, if you have a good gun, then, you know, taking gunfights and it's a very... You see, it's a very long, long hauls. A lot of long ways. Um, So this is pro star preference. If you want to hold CC, you can sacrifice some reinforcements. You'll need at least five and seven even if you want to get this but this is kind of an overextension you don't really need to do that but i don't really think you need to invest so much reinforcement to this um this is personal preference this is so that uh, way you can kind of hold cc a little bit easier but i understand this can be a, this is a two-way angle otherwise you can just reinforce this off um and put your shield here that way you can hold a condor now, if you want to decide when should I make holes, when should I close it off, um, just understand if the other side of the room is important. Is it going to affect the gunplay? Um, is it going to make it harder or easier to hold? That's totally up to you. 
like I said, my site setups are like 95% correct. The other 5% is like the creative factor. Because as long as you just kill all five players, then you win the round. So that's totally up to you how you want to play it. Aruni is good, yes. Chat, anybody that can make rotates is good. It doesn't matter who they are. It can be... Don't pick Cav, but I mean, Cav could like, you know, be exceptional. Uh, frost mat for the window hoppins. Um, if you don't want to put them on the windows, because people, it's, it's really common nowadays. But it's always good for have them look down. But if you have an extra frost mat you don't want to put on the window, I recommend you can try main like this. Main like this. Or you can try, um, like I said, under here, under the, under the hatch. Frost mods are never a guarantee, but they are a factor to help you win more gunfights. Or when you get you more... More, uh, more skin to your defense. Um, so yeah, make the, uh, these, these footholds are obviously for anybody that walks in gym. Oh my god. Oh shit. Sorry guys. Wait, wait. Reinforce this wall, this wall. Bathroom wall. Uh, reinforce this gym single right here. And then, yeah, that should be it. But yeah, all, that's really all the holes you really need to make. I made all the holes. But yeah, that, that's basically how you do it. Yeah, that's how, that's how you do it. Wispy with the Prime, Biscuit with the Prime, uh, Nova with the Tier 1, Tommy with the Prime, and Vinny with the Prime. Thank you guys very much for the brand new subs. We are very close to our sub goal. Thank you guys. So after you've won Jim and your church, best case scenario, or up 2-0 on defense like me. This is where you can go CC. Don't... <sighs> Bar is a little bit too much coordination, I would say. Uh, well, it's like, you know, just, just don't go bar. Just, just go CC. CC is fine. It's not a bad bomb site, but it's harder than the others, I would say now. So bar or CC, you guys already know. You guys already know who to run. Wall, denial, um, extra util for the windows and the doors, hold garage. It's very default, right? So let's, uh, who should I go? Let's so fucking set up everything. Let's go Rooney. If you want the best CCTV defense, I would say bring Aruni or Malusi. Aruni or Malusi is really good. Just extra extra uh, pressure for the doorways. Cade. If Cade is banned, then you're kind of fucked. But Mute or Bandit is okay. Just one of them for wall denial. Next would be some sort of holes or rotates. You know, Oryx, Doc, Smoke, um, Jaeger or Wamai. Is very, very important because you can get naded, flashed. You want to do one of those. Uh, and the last person could probably just, like I said, just bring anyone that can help out with the site setup. Otherwise, you can just go like a, a 1.5 scope because you're going to be challenging the breach, garage, and like everything else. This 1.5s are very, very strong. Echo's kind of bad at CCTV. Uh, he's okay, actually, but I mean... He, it's he's a little bit too passive, I would say. It depends how you play him, obviously, but like Echo can be fine actually. It's just he's it's better just to shoot them than to yeah. You don't really need that much info for it. It's okay though. Um, like I would probably rather pick Doc over Echo in my opinion, just because of heals, bailiff, um, barbed wire. It's very 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 uh, subtle. Let's go with this. Azami, yes, Azami is. She's just good at holding rafters. I don't think she. Well, Azami makes any bomb site like you know you can get creative with. She's because it's because she's Azami, but it's uh like I said, it's not who you pick, it's how you play the operator. Um, actually, before this, I I DM'd a pro player. You guys know who Foltz is, right? I was asking him, you know, like uh, a, a project to like you know like explain an operator, right? And he said like. I think it's really important for ranked players here too. It's like it's not like how you play an operator. It's about like it's better to learn how to play a certain role and you understand your play style. Because an operator is just a vessel to deliver on what you're trying to do. Like if you're roaming, you'll go vigil, you'll go alibi. So it really just depends on how you play. You can make a good roam work with freaking maestro if you wanted to, but obviously, you know, there's better operators for that. Okay, so uh, Aruni or Malusi is really good for here. Really good for here, just because you know extra extra burn, 
Um, if you want, put BP either a garage here, like this, so you can heat all of this. Or put- oh, never- never reinforce this off or make this a full rotate. Because then, if they end up taking garage, then they have to force through this window, and they're exposed a lot better, easier. So obviously, I'm a bit slow right now. But you know, some- some head holes should be fine here. Let's just pretend I reinforce these two walls. Actually, I'll just do it because I'm not lazy. Siege is the best FPS, man. Ain't, ain't no game coming closer to Siege, bro. Alright, so obviously this is a default default BP spot here to face the breach. But yeah, like, look how Aruni just kind of makes the site feel a little bit, you know, safer almost. A little bit easier to hold. So, you guys should be able to use all 10 of reinforcements on this bomb site. If you're missing in your reinforcements, then you guys reinforce the wrong wall. But yeah, so here, yeah, never reinforce more than one wall in the middle here. You make head holes here. And then a crouch rotate here. Like I said, you don't want to make this a large one. If if possible, that way it's not too, you know, slows them down. Forces them to crouch. So yeah, that's basically how you set up this bomb site. However you play is up to you. But like I said, this is the main reason why I don't like CCTV anymore. It's just because it's a very open bomb site, almost, you know. If people die garage early, if people die below somehow, like people roaming below and just get picked off randomly, then like all the people on attack have to do is plant here or here, and they just have to cover like this. It's in and, you know, they got longer scopes, they can see you a lot easier. It's a very, it's just kind of a hard bomb site to refrag if you're not playing it correctly. Shield spots. Shield spots could either go for a red right here for an ADS. You could put it here facing the condor. Um, uh, all the other one would probably go here. If you have Jaeger, then put the ADS right here on the floor and then move the shield back a bit right here. But well, that's where you would put it. Should you put a runic in the main breach? Um, e that's up to you. Like, I put mine on CC window and Condor just because it's, you know, there's that way there's some sort of resistance on them. But you could if you wanted to. You could. It forces them to burn. So that's up to you. You could even put on this window here. Like I said, just play however you want. Yeah, L servers, guys. L servers. One more time, guys. My side setups are like 95% correct in all ranks. But the 5% is kind of like how you guys want to play it. You guys can play however you want. Because at the end of the day, like, I'm not playing the game for you and you guys can... Siege is like an, a, a game of opportunity, you know? You could have the worst side setup and still lose, they still win the game. It would just be very hard to do that, right? Alright, dude. Chat, do you guys really want to know how to defend bar? Because there really is not a lot of setup to it. If you're going bar and ranked, then you're better off just playing like a TDM, bro. You're better off just picking a 1.5 and just play like a TDM. But there really is no like... Yeah, like, let, let's, let's forget about bar. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Remember, go church and gym first, and then go CC last resort, please. Trust me, it will win you so many more games. It has won me so many games in the past, especially in the educational commentaries. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.